So the gaming world got rocked last night as Insomniac suffered a massive leak as hackers held information from the server's ransom for 50 Bitcoin. Obviously, Insomniac refused. Therefore, we got a very, very massive leak, y'all. I'm telling you. So listen up. Basically, Insomniac's uh, whole 10-year roadmap got leaked. This roadmap includes uh, a, a Venom game coming out here soon, uh, another Spider-Man game, the Wolverine game, also the reveal that the Wolverine game is actually the first in three X-Men games. Yes, y'all, X-Men games that we're getting from Insomniac. We're also getting a brand new IP from Insomniac and a brand new Ratchet and Clank game. And this is supposed to be over the course of the next 10 years. But... What's interesting about the Wolverine game is that the footage that got leaked is pretty damn incredible. Now, obviously, this footage is not done yet. There's a lot of just, like, pre and, like, a lot of uh, unfinished scenes and stuff like that. But the gameplay from that alone, it looks pretty damn amazing. Not even gonna lie. Like, we're seeing Wolverine in Berserker mode. We're seeing him in different costumes and outfits, including his, you know, his iconic yellow and brown one. We're seeing him in, like, trucker, not trucker hats, but cowboy hats chopping up dudes he has uh, different costumes we also see appearances from gene gray and other x-men which you know which leads into the x-men trilogy so it's going to be a very very interesting game and honestly i mean it does suck that insomniac suffered this leak it's very similar to the gta 6 leaks that we got a year or so back but the thing about it in the same exact fashion it has created an insane amount of hype the hype train is now out of the station moving at the speed of a speeding bullet People now know what they can kind of expect from this game. And everything that I've read about this has been just nothing but positive and out an outlook and warmth towards Insomniac for even doing this game. Like, Insomniac is not EA or one of these other villainous companies that we talk about in the gaming world. They're actually pretty beloved. We love the Spider-Man games. We love Ratchet and Clank. Sony picked up a good company. And it, we, it sucks that they suffered that leak. But... They should be happy to know that the gaming community is extremely excited about this game. I, I'm I'm mind blown. And the fact that we're getting X-Men games too, we might actually get like a really, really, really good X-Men game. Not only that, but three of them over the next like, you know, 10 years or so. I'm an older dude. By the time X-Men 3 comes out, I'll be almost 50 years old. But the point is, is that I'll definitely be in line with my PlayStation 7 or Switch or whatever system is going to be. Well, not Switch, but PlayStation, whatever. But anyways... All in all, is it, this going to be a trend when it comes to innovation and marketing in the gaming world? Are we now going to have leaks as part of these massive companies dropping their games? Are we going to get leaks for I don't know, The Last of Us 3 or anything like that? I actually think it might end up being a trend because of the fact that it's the almost taboo nature of knowing that you are seeing something you're not supposed to be seeing. And the footage is all over the place. I actually have the footage on my phone, but I decided not to post it out of respect to the company. But... We all got it. We all see it. It's fire. But what do you guys think? I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Let's talk about it. Peace. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Gerard Eitner here. If you guys enjoyed the video and you made it all the way here, do me a favor and go follow me on Spotify. I'm trying to get my numbers up so I can be a famous rapper. I'm almost 40, but, you know. Dreams, motherfucker! Please help me out. I love you. Peace.